today we are at the launch uh, of our Oshivela project, uh, which will most likely be the first industrial production of iron with zero uh, emissions in the whole world, here with us in Namibia. It's first of its kind, high iron, um, and this is because uh, we will produce iron uh, without carbon. And uh, this is the first in the world. Because uh, for now 4,600 years, uh, the world has been producing iron uh, based on carbon, so on fossil fuels. Um, and you need that um, uh, in the process of refining iron ore. So you've got an iron ore that you take from the ground and uh, uh, when it comes from the ground it's still an oxide, meaning uh, it's a combination of iron, Fe and O. And in order to uh, make it usable for steel or the many uses of iron, uh, you need to remove the oxygen from, from the iron content. Around four years ago, we started to rethink this process and said we have to replace the carbon in the iron reduction and we do so with hydrogen. Namibia was the ideal location uh, for this pilot because uh, of several reasons. Um, the first uh, being uh, the world-class potential in renewable energy. It also has a high potential for iron ores that are currently not mined. And um, uh, one of the big advantages also of our process is that uh, we can mine the iron ore in a different way than it's traditionally mined because our process afterwards is different. And um, that means that uh, with our process suddenly it will be possible to mine iron ore here uh, because we can do it at zero water use. And um, the third is um, because of the very efficient legislation and uh, the good governance of Namibia. So, uh, um, the promotion for investors, uh, the um, yeah, keen support that we got, um, also the cooperation uh, agreements, um, for example in our case with the German government, um, they enabled uh, um, this project and that's why Namibia will most likely end of next year be the first producer of green iron in the whole world. Our industry has to go green. We have very clear rules in Germany. So our traditional way of producing iron and steel is by using coal with high emissions of CO2. And this is a new technology that can be zero emissions. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, of course, we could do that also in Germany, but we do not have the fantastic wind and solar conditions as Namibia has. So what we see now, the investment is going to those countries that have the best natural conditions and are politically stable. In a PDB, as we do with most of our uh, projects that we support, of course, things like uh, uh, permitting, uh, licenses, um, but in the main also helping the investor to understand the environment they operate in. Of course, uh, we all know that this part of our country, the desert is an eco-sensitive area and uh, we also, of course, help the hand of the uh, investor to kind of go through those processes and, and to also find land that, that is appropriate to develop a project like this. The government recognizes that foreign and domestic investment have become pivotal catalysts for economic growth and job creation. Therefore, as a country, Namibia is very deliberate about creating a conducive investment climate supported by progressive regulatory and policy frameworks and underpinned by processes, systems and institutions that are effective and predictable. Why it is so special for NIPDB in particular is that we started uh, barely two years ago and for the team to have really grown to the extent that we can we can offer supports and specialize industries like this. It's really uh, uh, something of, of, of an achievement and we, uh, we hope to support other um, uh, investors with, with similar complexities also in the future.